Desperate times that hit the KwaZulu Natal capital and its existence in the Absa Premiership as Marisburg United literally fight for their very survival up against a Polokwane city aiming to stay in the top eight. For the time being, they'll be worried about defense here, especially the good movement of Mogate here on this near side. Support quick to arrive, time, space, and go, go! Keepers made a mess of it! And it's turned over the purpose! The perfect start for Marysburg United! Kutumela is the man that capitalizes on a cheap George Chigoba and his inability to handle them in what looked a shot he should have been comfortable making the save with. It takes an awkward bounce, the goalkeeper does well to try and save it, but who has the presence of mind in the end reacted much more quicker. Kitabi, so him, of course, the former. Baroka, him, of course, the former. Orlando Pirates now with Maritz back. Bolland! The most important of defensive touches. Kunene. It's not over. And then the pressure is still there. Mm. Tim. Beautiful. They ripped them to shreds. A couple. A couple of goals inside 30 minutes. How important these could be in the turnaround that's so needed in Marisburg. It's Makarege who set it up. It's the finish from Mohau Mukati. Isilo Sama Nyu 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 you can see the excitement from Eric Tinkler. What a move. In the end, the end product, yes, is still a summer new. Mm. The battle between the two continues. Yamagate with a solid hold up job in waiting for support from Magarenge. I thought my heart moves from the left to the right with Magarini, a little shuffle. There he is, pushing forward, it's a lovely ball! Oh, what a move! Oh, what a cheap goal from Marisburg! They've done it again! Three goal cushion! They are cruising towards three points! But in this one, it's a lot of my new, new beauty all around. Stand up, because this is a well-worked team goal. Yes, I will say it again. It's the Losama Nyunyu. A thing of beauty. Kimuko Pamanis. Wow. You all. Gitabiso. Happiness all round. Maringi again. Ripping up ground in the central areas. Needed the release a little bit earlier. I, I didn't think so. I don't think he can complain himself. It's a chandu, chandu actually. That's a good ball. Good movement from Boy. Just the one target with more arriving in that box. The touch! Should be! Off the other side of the bar and the full run back deservedly. It is always going to be tricky to defend when you've been playing so well, things are working out for you, you are getting the goals, the crowd is giving you the support. Complacency has tendencies of creeping in in situations like this. You have three players in the box, but still, the marking is not solid at all. And that's where the problem is. The beauty of this game Mm. One challenge. To the credit, Bulgari City are still going. Chin still up and still looking to maybe pull one back. They could. Difficult time. Mm. And plays! And in the end, the only protected near post. But Kulu was put to the ground then and dug up. Good save. But I'll tell you, a man that will play breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> Malfunction. They buried him. Buried him. The turnout, exactly what the home side needed in coming up with just their first win at home of the season. It's Marysburg United by three goals to one over Polo City.
Coach Rick, appreciate your time. Thoughts, please? Uh, to be honest, so many. So many thoughts. You know, I think very proud of the boys because, like I told you before in the pre-match, it was all about our work during the week, working on our offensive play, seeing what we'd done in training, actually coming out on the pitch, and we saw that tonight. You know, so I thought offensively we were very, very, very good. You know, we should have scored more than three. I thought we had four, five, six chances, you know. But because of the situation the team is in, we started to drop very, very deep. The, you know, there's that panic. And I thought, you know, that last 30 minutes was difficult, very, very difficult, because we played extremely deep. We allowed them to play those long balls into the box. We allowed them to play through us. And we allowed them back into the game, you know. But we could have scored the fourth, we could have scored the fifth and really killed off the game. You know, but proud. We, we needed this win. You know, I can look at those things, I, I can be critical on it, but one also has to understand the situation where the club is finding itself and the mental state of the players. There's going to be that panic, there's going to be that anxiety, uh, there's going to be that thing, we don't want to concede, so let's drop off deep. You know, but that's something we need to get out of the system. This group of players, you told me before the game, you asked them to give everything they did. Definitely, 100%, you know. I thought everybody, from Mokatu all the way right back to, to Richard, I thought they all did, and Glover had a fantastic game tonight, you know, I think he's back to, to what we know he's capable of, Makiringe also, I thought he had a phenomenal game, Miguel Tim playing the holding role very good, Shandu Kuneni getting forward, providing those crosses, you know, and then, like I said, uh, Kutumela getting in the box, everything that we trained, which was, which was nice to see. The togetherness, team spirit, I'll tell you why I say this, Coach Eric, when I see those that are not playing, mm. jumping up, cheering at half time, they stood in line here yes. to exactly. meet their teammates. No, but that's important because this is a team sport. It's not about the individuals and it's about the group. You know, we, and we're a big group right now because, you know, we, we brought in quite a few players to, to try and come and help. And we're a massive group and, and that can be difficult if everybody's, uh, you know, thinking about themselves and why they're not playing. I explained to the players that, you know, it affects every single person at the club, including those that are not in the starting 11 and those that are not in the 18. You know, it's going to affect them. So you need to be behind the boys, support them and make sure because it affects all of us. Is this the turnaround you wanted? This is a start, eh? Because, like I said, this is a, is a long journey. It's, 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 a, it's a long journey in a very short space of time. You know, because truth be told, the distance between ourselves and the teams above us, now we've closed that gap. There's still a two-point gap. Uh, we need results now to go our way. So we close that gap, you know, and, and that's the focus. Now we focus on the next one, Cape Town City. But the, the boost is that we go there with a little bit more confidence. The morale is a lot, lot better. But is it going to be tough? It's going to be very, very tough. Thank you so much, Coach Eric. Well done tonight. Thank you. There is Coach Eric Chinkler. Then looking even ahead at the games that are still upcoming, uh, perhaps doesn't really want to say that this is the turnaround because he knows just how much work still needs to be done. Joseph Fukuzic, the head coach of um, Pulugwane City, he joins me now. Coach, appreciate your time. Your thoughts, please. Yes. Uh, first, I must congratulate the home team for the win. The win was uh, full deserved. Uh, I think the first half time. They beat us on uh, aggressivity and uh, yeah, you know, you lost duels and if you lost duel, not in the box, but in small box, yeah, it results to the goals. So it was 2-0, we tried, we had uh, shots, but that shots were not exact. Even we had a uh, ball possession combination, last pass we, we missed. And uh, finishing, I, I told already how it worked. Second half was even uh, more difficult with the third goal. The home team played for counter and they used our mistake in the back. So it was 3-0. From there came positive things in our game. We tried. We tried until uh, finish. Uh, with the last two changes, uh, we risked everything, but there, there came uh, a lot of impact in our game. We, we played a ultra-offensive player, uh, but uh, the situation came. Uh, OK, we couldn't score the, the second goal because uh, then uh, we had a small chance. But uh, like I said, the games in, in season are sometimes like, like this. We must uh, take it now. Now is important how we move from, from here. We lost today. We concede uh, three goals. 